you are the unborn, uh, the undying, the timeless. You were never born. What is born is this form and the name that came into being. And this coming into being appears in your own timeless, infinite Self. You are pure awareness, beyond names and forms, beyond what comes and goes. All these, all these appearances, they are watched effortlessly in yourself. If you remain without identifying with what appears, then your own timelessness will become self-evident for you. You are the witness of all appearances, all phenomena. You are the eyes that sees all. But this all-seeing eyes, they cannot be seen. Because it is itself formless. Ideas such as becoming yourself or knowing how to be, leave these ideas and these ideas will leave you. They do not serve what you are. Do not tie yourself to any intention. nor to time. Don't anticipate to become something in the future. And your timeless, ever-present being will reveal itself more clearly. You are the light of awareness itself, the light of consciousness. But you are also beyond this as the witness of this light and all that appears in this light. You are immaculate being. All that arises in your own Self, all thoughts from past or future or even present thoughts appearing, none of this is your own Self. They cannot exist without you. But nothing defines you. Do not identify with any self-image, any construct.
you're only the awareness itself. Though your mind will not easily accept this, understand that you are the weakness itself of the mind. You are not that which comes and goes. You are not even that which improves or grows. It is an aspect of yourself. It belongs to the realm of consciousness and mind. That dynamic beingness is always expanding. It is natural. It is natural for that feeling of expansion, of maturing to happen. This is the purpose of this existence itself, in a way. But you are the knower, the perceiver of progress, of change, of growth, of maturity. Therefore, you are apart from all of these. Reflect on this. In the same way that the, the wind blows here and there, but it cannot be seen, only its effects are seen. In the same way, all these names and forms are the effects of the being. They are the evidence of its presence. But it is the invisible within the visible world. No name and no form sticks to you. They are only your temporary garment. You are before knowledge. You are the knower of knowledge. You are before memory. You are the witness of memory. You are before time. You are the witness of time and space and change. This is not something that is going to happen. It is the ever-present truth of who we are. Truly, you have neither parents, nor children, nor friends, nor any possession. All these are appearances in you. You are before all these appearances. It is natural that they are here, that they appear in the manifest life, in this dynamic world. All things appear for a time. Even your own self, which perceive itself as personality, as gender, all this, it is natural for this manifestation. Enjoy this play but enjoy being completely awake to the real. You are the Self. 
the one all-encompassing reality. All appears in your own self. You are the birthless and the deathless one. You have no special state, though all states appear in you. Contemplate this. This moment and this day is only an unfolding. If left unforced, it will reveal also the harmony and peace that is your own fragrance. Move naturally. Be yourself. Nothing can take away or add to you in the true sense. Your pure awareness. Whatever appears in this body or as mind are only appearances. Appearances cannot appear, they cannot occur without you, that which notices them. Do not strain yourself trying to improve this world. First, completely know yourself. Then your actions, they spring from this spontaneity, from this depth, from this understanding, from the real. And they will shower blessing upon this world. Be the one who is eternally free, happy, whole. Remain like this.